Hello everyone. Welcome back to day 4 of our 30 days English challenge. Now, in the previous 3 videos we have already addressed couple of really important issues and in today's video we have brought one such interesting problem. I am not able to find the right word at the time of speaking to strangers in English. I'm going to repeat the problem for you. I'm not able to find the right word when i'm speaking in front of strangers in english language now before we even dive into this problem on a whole different level i want you to accept something this problem of not able to find the right word can actually happen in any language it sometimes happen in your native language it sometimes happen in any other german spanish french that you're trying to learn but the major concern with students is only with english language because english in our society is associated with standard and somebody who is more intelligent that's a myth which is so hard to remove these days but we have to start living with it we cannot ignore the fact that english is required in everyday life english is a global language in every offices every um, you know government offices or maybe private offices any banks any schools any colleges you have to use english language as a medium of communication so choice is very simple we can either accept english as an important language and something that we have to work with or we can just stay back out of the competition which is not going to be very productive for us okay so this problem of not finding the right word in english language when i'm talking to stranger strangers can happen with anyone it can literally happen with anyone okay now i'm going to talk about the reason the reason why this problem actually happens first of all we already discussed an issue in one of our last videos if you haven't checked our day 3 the link goes in the description box as well as on the top you can definitely check it now the major problem why this happen is because when you're talking to strangers you have a different level of anxiety anxiety is something which which breaks your confidence it puts lot of pressure on you that you're not able to process your information in a way you should have okay now we're trying to solve these problems with the help of how our human brain and how this whole psychology works anxiety is one of the biggest reason why in between of your conversation you don't remember the right word because you develop a pressure the second reason for this problem is dual activity sometimes when you are talking to people you are not focused into the conversation itself you might be paying attention on more than one topic you might be thinking about what i'm going to do after this conversation or you might be thinking about what this person is wearing you might be thinking about something else your focus is not just on the conversation so what you are doing is dual activity your focus is distracted by two options and hence whichever option is easy and entertaining your focus goes there and less focus or less energy is used to have that conversation because of the outcome you fail in finding the right word and it sometimes gets so embarrassing that even if you think for like a minute or maybe 2 minutes you still don't find the right word because you are not putting the right amount of focus on that activity third reason why you face this problem is limited vocabulary now limited vocabulary is something which is directly connected to the information you have about a topic imagine you don't read much you have limited information about five or six topics you may be talking about a restaurant or maybe something that you do on weekends but if somebody comes and ask you about sports and especially cricket and you are somebody who does not have enough knowledge about cricket you have limited knowledge about that subject and indirectly you have limited vocabulary so this problem of missing out words or not able to find the right words usually happen when you are having a conversation where the subject is not very familiar for you indirectly you will not find the right words to express your emotions or your whatever you are thinking into the right word now let's talk about the solution to handle each one of them the very first solution is directly related to the last problem limited vocabulary can actually be solved if you read a little bit more if you read more i don't mean read books 
read variety of articles provided online widen your range of information you should not only be aware of something that happens on daily basis you should even be aware of things that is happening across the world or maybe something that you may not even try to talk but you should know about it when you read more you gain few words you gain few different vocabulary that can actually help you to have a conversation without hesitation second solution to the problem is describe that word describe the word i'm going to explain that describing the word when you are not able to find it for example i already discussed in one of our videos before for example you want to say key key as in the one which helps you to open the door now when you're having a conversation you're not able to use that word properly because it just skips from your mind we already know why words can skip from your mind and now let's say you are actually having such conversation and you miss that word so you can actually describe the word with the way it looks or how it is used for example can you help me to find that object which helps me to open this door when you say it helps you to open the door you are actually describing the object as in key let's say you are not able to find your phone or you are not able to use this word phone in the conversation and the entire sentence is you know kind of messed up now so you can say that can you help me where to find that object with which we can make a phone call now this is something very easy of course you will not forget the word like phone but in case you do it happens it happened with me couple of times even when i'm trying to talk in my native language which is hindi i forget certain words at times and it becomes very pressurizing situation to come out of it so what i do best is i describe that particular word by the way it looks or how it can be used that brings me to the third solution listen before you open your mouth it's really important what actually happens in real conversation that we are more interested in talking rather than listening to somebody and this is true for everybody you are having a conversation with somebody it might be one to one conversation it might be in a group conversation before the other person even finishes the idea you have this prompt urge to speak and when you speak out of preparation and when you speak out of focus you are actually doing a dual activity in that moment and you happen to miss out the word even after let's say after the third sentence or maybe after the second sentence you don't get the idea you don't get the word to speak in that moment so the answer to this problem is listen to people when you listen you're actually giving an impression that i care about what you are saying giving this kind of impression to the speaker actually helps them with lot of you know love and comfort they can provide you if you just lean down and you listen to them and you let them know with your body that i'm actually caring about what you are saying when you pay more attention on listening you can actually pick your conversation from something that they have already said you can pick phrases you can pick words from their conversation and then you process your own information in this whole process let's say if you are not able to understand some of the words or some of the phrases that they are saying it's totally fine to ask questions about them you can tell them can you please elaborate what you said at the end or i'm not very sure if i understood the last statement so when you are actually asking questions you're putting that pressure from your head to somebody else you're letting them know that i am listening to you very carefully but i want to be sure about that last particular word you are training yourself you are letting yourself to be in that comfort zone and calming yourself and when it's your time to speak you will not hesitate because you have enough information to convey the message next solution is don't be scared to say sorry now it can happen with everybody you can be a uh, lack of you can be in a situation where you don't have enough words you can be in a situation where you're not able to process your information the way you should have been but it's okay to say sorry it's okay to take that time to process your information initially you may be doing it a lot but later when you become accustomed to the conversation part you will not be using such words you can actually say i'm sorry i will take a minute to process that information i'll take a minute to start talking again let me think about it a little bit before i speak these are some of the words or some of the sentences that you can actually use into your life and still not be scared of 
you know, saying sorry that I am not sure what should I speak in this. It's okay to accept it. And it's actually much more confident. It gives, it gives a sense of confidence on the person who is saying that, you know, I'll take a minute to process that information. I'm not really sure what can I say in this situation. Use it as it is. Have that command to say, I'm sorry, I'm not sure what can I say in this situation. It's totally fine. That brings me to the last solution of this problem and that is take a pause. <coughs> We're going to have many, uh, you know, uh, lectures coming up in the forward sessions where I'm going to talk about this particular answer in much more detail. But let me give you a brief about what is the importance of taking a pause. Take a second or two seconds before you start speaking. These milliseconds or two seconds or three seconds that you're taking for yourself actually gives you a lot of confidence. You will actually be in control of your information. You will know what you want to say next. Before even getting into a conversation with all the, you know, hurriness and happens with all the hurriness you have in your body, it's okay to take a pause and smile a little bit and start the conversation. The chances are when you start a conversation with a good smile, with confidence, you will not skip the words because you're relieving yourself from anxiety. We already discussed the major problem of this is anxiety. If you remove that anxiety from your head, chances of making mistakes, chances of missing the right word will be to the minimum. Okay. We know the problems. We know why these problems happen. Now we know the solution as well. Follow all of these solutions into your real life. And I hope you're actually catching up on the word of the day because every day there is a word and that word can actually be utilized into your daily life. Try to use that word at least 10 times or 15 times a day. And every time you're using that word, try to connect the backstory of it. Why am I using this word? Why not something else? The more you get into this practice, the more you will feel confident after 30 days. Okay. We have given ourselves a challenge of 30 days. We are already on the session four. Lot more to come. Make sure you follow through and make sure you like this video and share it with your friends because I'm 100% sure this will be useful. And subscribe our channel Learn with Samanash. I'm going to catch up in the next video. Thank you.